Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, and this one's a little different. I'm not working on a panel. I decided to uh, catch up on some of the other pieces that I've had sitting around for a while. Um, one of the main pieces is the um, the overhead console air supply. So uh, walking you through this quickly. But uh, you know, basically what I did is I leveraged one of the parts that I had in the van's kit, which is the mount for the uh, for the motor, which I didn't use, which is part F048D. I took that and uh, mounted it on top of the NACA control vent, or sorry, the NACA controller housing, right? And uh, you know, in order to do that, I basically took the servo out disconnected the wires, put it on top, matched all the holes. And once I got them the way I wanted to do it, um, you know, then I just aligned them properly and it, it worked out pretty good. The, uh, the other thing is once I got that done, then I added the appropriate nut plates to it so I could mount that, drill it on, uh, sorry, screw it on to the, uh, to the actual uh, controller housing. That way, if necessary, it's removable in the, in the future if I want to do that. And then once I've got that done, um, I had to align it to the overhead uh, longer ons to do that. And uh, in order to get it level, you actually have to bend that bracket quite a bit. So I bend the bracket, mounted it up. And then once I mounted it up and got it level, I then uh, drilled a hole through, match drilled. And you can see from the picture kind of where it's going to sit. But uh, overall, I think it came out pretty good. And you'll notice I had to put screws in to be able to mount it. Um, if I hadn't done that, then uh, it would not, I wasn't sure it was going to level be level. So I wanted to make sure of that. So I bit the bullet and dreaded wanting to do these, but I figured I'd do them. So I cut out the, the cutouts for the vents in the back. I think they came out okay. Um, this was the Dremel tool with a cutting blade on it. And then I used the Dremel tool with a rotary blade on it to kind of flatten it down a bit. And then I used uh, a file to file it down. So that's one side. And this side I think actually came out a little better because it's a little more, I think it's a little more symmetrical. But uh, this is this side. Got rid of all the sharp edges and uh, you know sanded it down. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, not too much about it. I would just, uh, you know, take your time, work through it. It, uh, it, it works pretty good. Oh, the one thing I did do is you'll notice I put all the Clicos in the top here. I wanted something solid. And also when I was sanding this with a file, filing this down, you really want to hold on to it because you don't want this moving too much. I'd imagine that, uh, will compromise the integrity of, of the aluminum if you're moving it back and forth too much. Okay, bye. Here's the NACAVENT adapters. I've got them mounted in here temporarily anyway. And you can see on the other side over here, this is the second one. I'll probably trim down the edge a little bit so it's not quite as flush to this. But it uh, came out pretty good. Just notched this out. And on this side, you can actually see over here, I've notched it out as well. Uh, got that from a number of people. But uh, overall, pretty good. And now, of course, the big thing is I need to cut the holes out. And I have seen someone say they've used the holes off for that. I may try it out. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I figured this would be a little bit of change from the avionics. This was a little change from the avionics and I needed to get it done. So just figured this might be a good change up. Uh, hope you like it, bye. Another step forward, cut out the holes. And the way that I did those, um, I still need to go and uh, use my deburring tool here, but um, it worked out pretty good. The way I did those is I used the number 40 bit roughly in the center and drilled a hole in the center. And then what I did is I used this hole saw, which is a one and three quarter inch. And uh, I placed that right inside of here. 
trying to keep it centered as much as possible. Drilled through it, it drilled through no problem at all. And then once I did that, I used my Dremel tool with the little, uh, as you can see down here with the little sanding bit on the end and sanded it out. But uh, uh, not a big to do. And now that I've got it done, I had a little bit of cleanup and basically all of the rear vent and the vent controls are all prepped and ready to go. I just need to put the plumbing in for it. Um, I need to obviously uh, fill in those, but uh, there you have it.